by you, by son. I'd be very proud to believe so. What's up, Deadheads, and welcome to They Said We Said. This is Johnny Walker giving you my spoiler review of Season 7, Episode 11 for The Walking Dead, Hostiles, and Calamities. This one's directed by Carrie Scoglin. I'm not too familiar with uh, her other work. I know she's done some other uh, Fear episodes, Fear the Walking Dead episodes, but I think this is her directorial debut as far as the main show goes. And I have to say she did a pretty good job. Um, this isn't the best episode. And guys and gals, I hope you're hungry because this is filler. Filler episode. That's okay. Um... It, it, it was fun. We got the we got the cribs tour of the sanctuary. We had our favorite achy breaky haircut toting uh, hillbilly Eugene. This is kind of his tour the uh, sanctuary. So we have him coming out of the truck. So Eugene actually has his own personal tour guide. Uh, looks like one of the members from Slipknot with the uh, barcode on her neck. Didn't catch her name. I don't think she's got a name. She's got a barcode on her freaking neck. So she's taking her around kind of showing Eugene the ropes on how the point system works. And you know, he has a pretty nice setup. He's got a nice room. He's got a working refrigerator. He's got video games and he's got pickles. I mean, everything that our hillbilly hero would ever want. But is he a hillbilly hero anymore? More on that later. This episode also gives us the triumphant return of Mr. Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, uh, as awesome as always. A, a bit more menacing in this episode, not as lighthearted. We did get some jokes, but mostly all the jokes and all the yucks came from Josh McDermott, Eugene Porter. Negan kind of puts Eugene on the spot and kind of gives him a pop quiz pretty much for his life, wanting to know what, what he could do to keep his walker wall kind of upright and working. So, uh, under pressure, Eugene kind of comes through. Negan rewards him a conjugal visit with his wives, three of them. So, he gets three sister wives, no touching, of course, uh, just kind of to hang out, eat popcorn, uh, and play video games. So then it's all fun and games, lots of wine, lots of space invaders, and we go outside and Eugene does his best Bill Nye the Science Guy impression and does a couple of cool little science experiments and everyone's having a good time and you see in a couple moments Eugene start to crack a smile, which doesn't really bode well for our survivors over in Alexandria, but who knows, maybe it's a facade. This episode is also as much a Dwight episode, so Dwight goes in his room, sees the busted up chessboard, and just is kind of sitting there waiting for it. And guess what? The ass whooping does come. Negan and his goonies come in, kind of rough him up, throw him in the Daryl cell, easy street to play in. White is then given the task of finding Sherry, his ex-wife, Negan's current wife. So we have a, kind of a touching moment when he goes out. It seems to be maybe their, their house, uh, maybe a house that they kind of took over since the turn and uh, kind of a heartfelt voiceover from Sherry. Who knows, she'll probably turn up later, but you know, she's not there. Uh, he leaves the pretzel and beer. How unfortunate, Someone, some very lucky scavenger is going to be very happy about that. She then goes back and reports that he saw Sherry just completely die, got, got kind of covered up his tracks uh, without having to kill her and bring back a, a, another body for the wall. Says she got ripped to pieces by walkers. There's nothing to bring back, sorry. Negan buys into it, and guess what? The poor doctor doesn't just get the iron to the face, he gets the whole furnace to the face. And that, that, that's a wrap for our, our poor little doctor there. So as the bad doctor states, there is no room for a big heart in this world. But guess what? Dwight comes up with a little plan and the poor doctor gets uh, roasted in a furnace. Uh, that was kind of a stupid move on Negan's part in my opinion. Yes, I know it was shock and awe, but in the zombie apocalypse, I don't care if you had 10 doctors, I don't care if every single damn savior was a doctor you don't kill your doctors you don't kill just like you don't kill eugene because he's the scientist and he's he's making the bullets and he's making your your walkers little you know tanks and you know, you're giving them the diamond armor or whatever you don't kill the doctors dumb ass move mr negan so the wives were generally seemed like they were having pretty much a good time with Mr. Achy Breaky haircut, probably because he wasn't being too much of a creep. He just wanted to play his video games and do his magic tricks. But, you know, the, the wives did have an agenda. They wanted to come up with a suicide pill for their friend 
and what we find out later, Mr. Negan himself. Well, Eugene kind of put a stop to that. He had his moment, he, he, he kind of nutted up and, and took all the ingredients from, from the, the general store. And that was kind of a, an interesting moment, kind of Eugene kind of getting his gumption going. But uh, he did not, however, he is still a coward and he did not go through with the sister wife plan. So the man finally gets a moment alone with his pickles and guess what? Knock, 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 little pig, little pig, let me in. Mr. Negan right there, hey, I just, we, we've treated you nice, you've seen all the places, we, you, you've, you've hung out with, with the Slipknot girl, I need a signature, basically. What is your name? And Negan couldn't even finish the sentence before Eugene said, I am Negan, I've been Negan all along, and I've been waiting for you just to come around. You know, flash forward maybe a couple days later, Eugene is completely settled into his role. Dwight walks up, they both kind of share a moment. I'm Negan, I'm Negan, there you go. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, has Eugene bought in? Is Eugene, uh, show Eugene kind of taking a complete turn, left turn from what he is in the comic book. Is Dwight taking a complete left turn than he did in the comic book? We won't get too much into comic book uh, Eugene and Dwight right now. I'll leave that for my buddies, The Walking Bread. So out of five briny pickles, I would give this one a pretty solid 3.3. 3.3 .3. Uh, briny pickles. Uh, not the best episode, but actually a very good debut for our new director. Um, like I said, very much a filler episode, but it was kind of fun to see kind of Eugene's surprise and kind of awe of what the Saviors could kind of offer people and offer people on the in crowd. And for the first time ever, it seems, uh, post or pre apocalypse, it looks like Eugene Porter is coming out num uh, on top. So let's see down the road how much he lets that go to that beautiful haircut of his. Well, guys, it went down. It did happen. Dead Guys Talking Survival Trivia. Dead Guys versus The Walking Bread, like you see behind me. Oh, man. So who won? Well, I guess you're going to have to tune in on Wednesday the 1st. March 1st is when the video will be posting. I will say it was a match, and it was for a belt. So... That's all I'm gonna say. Tune in on Wednesday. I wanna thank Josh and Alex for participating. Man, it was incredible. Deadheads, there's also the debut of the singles competition coming up, and that was yours truly versus The Walking Deb. That video coming out the following week. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching last week's spoiler episode. It is the biggest uh, the highest viewed Walking Dead review on this channel. So thank you from the bottom of my heart so much for watching that. Thank you for spreading the disease. Continue to spread the disease and we'll see you next time.